I would like to talk about my grandmother and my mom because they are two of the most powerful people I know, full stop. To me, they prove that black girl magic goes just beyond who has the longest hair extensions, who has the best nails, or who even cooks the best jollof. First of all, I'd just like to speak about my grandmother. She didn't have it easy. She grew up in one of the most patriarchal countries in the world, Nigeria, and was also pregnant during our civil war. But she went in there and fought for the values that she believed in, the values that she, she was delineated in, because she knew that by putting in that effort, even if it was at the detriment of her own life, she was fighting for a good cause, a cause that would help her children and her grandchildren and her great-grandchildren to come. And the other person I want to talk about is my mom as well. She didn't have it easy. She was taken from her mom at four years of age and she had to raise practically all her younger siblings by herself. She was parentified at a very young age. And at 16, she was kicked out by her father and her stepmom. And yet, she at no point ever felt the need to wallow in pity. She put herself through school with the help of nobody. Looking at my mom and my grandmother is the ability to pick up and uproot your life all over again and start from square one simply because of the people you care for and the values that you hold so deeply to your heart. At 40 years of age, my mom decided to leave Nigeria for me and my younger sister and move here to the UK because she believed in giving us the best possible experiences we could have education and work-wise. And she still does this whilst providing for all our family back home. And I would just love to say a massive thank you to them for all the things they've, they've gone through and the values they've instilled in me because they place very strong values on education and just morals and norms. Um, and thank you to my mom and my grandmother. You mean a lot to me.